Are you feeling tired? Do you have trouble staying awake for a 48 hour shift? How many hours do we have left? 47 and a half. Do you have trouble staying awake for long transports, especially at night? Do you struggle to wake up after just 10 minutes of sleep? Let's go! Have you ever slept through your pager? Bravewood Beanery Coffee is best used freshly roasted and freshly ground. Use first thing in the morning or any time you need to stay awake. Side effects may include euphoria, feelings of well-being, uncontrollable burst of song, enhanced ability to form sentences, sharpened focus, ability to handle social interactions, pleasant facial expressions, generalized contentment, satisfaction with life, higher daily step count, sporadic urges to do backflips and cartwheels, unusual bouts of brilliance, increased wit, accelerated joke rate, good mood, tendency towards laughter, interdimensional perception, motivation to complete tasks, and increased productivity. Please visit bravewoodbeanery.com for more information. That's bravewoodbeanery.com, B-R-A-V-E, W-O-O-D-B-E-A-N-E-R-Y dot com for more information. Thank you. Okay, hi guys. Um, I'm sorry, I am having some serious issues here. Hi, De Bear fan. It's nice to see you. I am so glad uh, to have a familiar username, face, whatever, <laughs> in the chat. Uh, I'm having trouble with my microphone. Um, my computer is just not recognizing my um, my road mic here. So, I'm going to try for a minute and see if I can get it figured out. Um, you can hear me, yes, because I'm using the microphone on my laptop right now, the built-in microphone. Um, but I would like to get my other microphones working. So, give me a minute and see if I can figure this out. Sorry, I'm not getting such a rough start to everything today. Um, this is just kind of, it's been a crazy day. I don't know how you guys are all doing. <laughs> Normally Fridays, you know, you think they're the laid back, easy, we're going to have fun kind of day. Um, hey, hey, Thistle and Oak, it is nice to see you. I am trying to figure out why my computer's not recognizing the microphone that I want to be using. 
um, yeah, I'm really confused. So I'm going to unplug my receiver, see if I can plug it in over here and get it to recognize. So yeah, you guys are getting ready to stream too. Nice. <laughs> um, I am actually getting ready to show you guys how to make homemade marshmallows. Um, and we're going to make pizza and strawberry spinach salad. Like I've got this huge, huge lineup of stuff to do for you guys. Um, yeah, darn. Yeah, I know. It's going to be great. Um, if I can just get all of the, you know, the technical stuff under control here. Um, hmm. All right, I'm going to have to uh, uninstall and reinstall it real quick. It's always s'more season, right? Oh yeah, and like technical difficulties, they're just... Can you hear me now? Am I actually using the right microphone? Oh. Ah. You can hear me? Yeah. Um, if I cannot, I'm still using the onboard microphone for, um, my laptop and I'm not getting, hold on a second. Okay, this is totally user error, I think. Um, there's at least one cable that's not connected that should be, and I'm trying to figure out where it is. I've got a crazy amount of cables going all over the place here. And this one should be going into my capture card, and it's not plugged in. All right, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with it today. There we go. Well, it's plugged in now and I'm still not getting any picture. Hey, Rusty, it's nice to see you. Um, good grief. At least three or four times a month with sound or visual, you have trouble. Yeah, I. It, ga, ga, ga. <laughs> all right, so uh, you all should be seeing my face. Deactivate and reactivate in the properties. Yeah. Okay. Um, believe it or not, I use OBS in my regular job. Um, I live stream every week for my uh, church. I'm the live stream operator, I guess, producer, whatever you want to call it. Um, but the computer that I have over there is a whole lot nicer than the one I have here. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm just not, good grief. All right.
Deactivate, reactivate, there. There it is, okay. Phew, it seems like uh, every every few months, um, OBS just sort of freaks out and uh, I just have to like totally restart everything to get it to work. Um, okay, so here I am. <laughs> It's nice to see you guys. Uh, I'm glad that you can see me now. All right, so now I'm gonna have to like get my get my brain back into cooking mode instead of computer issues mode. Um, so I've got marshmallows and hey, hey you can see me, Rusty. <laughs> That's so good. Um, yeah. All right. It is time to stop twitching. So I could twitch, right? Like eyelid twitching. Do you guys ever do that? Like you've got this underlying stress and you're really trying to get past it, but like your eyelid starts to twitch. Um, yeah, that's just no bueno. All right. Time to drop it all and let's get into uh, just enjoying putting together some pizza, some um, homemade marshmallows, and a salad and we're just gonna make we're just gonna hang out have fun and get dinner going <laughs> all right so thank you guys for being here i do appreciate it welcome to the beanery my name is wendelica and i am the uh the only roaster packager delivery shipping operator person uh <laughs> behind bravewood beanery and um i am super happy to be here with you guys Really, I am, now that we've got the issues under control. Um, so let's see, we are going to, um, I've, I already started my pizza dough, so I'm waiting for that to rise. And in the meantime, I am going to um, start making some, some marshmallows. Have you guys ever made marshmallows from scratch? It's, um, it's not that difficult. And it's a lot of fun. I actually made homemade marshmallows one year as part of my, uh, you know, Christmas goodies that I handed out to all my friends and family and everybody really, really loved them. Um, but I was just thinking, you know, it's almost s'mores season and um, we love making s'mores. Every chance we get, we go out onto the deck where we have a fire pit and um, we like to toast marshmallows and just hang out and listen to the frogs and you know, it's just um, a really fun family hangout time. But we have never actually used homemade marshmallows for our s'mores. Um, so I think I think we need to do that. I really do. Um, and I have actually two recipes for the marshmallows. Um, one is just basic homemade marshmallows, and I actually made those ahead of time this morning. And um, today, I am going to be making some strawberry marshmallows. I've never done strawberry marshmallows before. Hey, Pops Cockles, thank you for the sub. Oh my gosh, that is so great. I Wow, I really, really appreciate that. Two months in a row, that is so wonderful. Um, I just, I just love the family vibe that we have here on Twitch. It's great. Um, okay, so the strawberry marshmallows are going to be a new thing. Um, the ones that I made this morning, I, I got to a certain point and I stopped because they do have to set up for like three or four hours. So, um, when it gets to that setup point with this recipe, I'll set those aside and I'll bring out the ones I started this morning. So, um, it should be, even though they're different recipes, that part of it, it's just the cutting and dusting and everything that um, should be the same. So let's get started. I am ready to start. Okay, I am so ready to start. It's also strawberry season. We got strawberries everywhere. And um, I thought this would be a really great way, a couple different ways to use up some strawberries. Um, I made some strawberry kombucha last week that was excellent, by the way. If you are interested in uh, learning how to make kombucha, just send me a message and I would be happy to talk with you about kombucha. Um, okay, so I'm going to get my blender attachment out for my Bosch Universal Mixer. And 
Uh, we're going to start by pureeing some strawberries. Okay. So I hope you all are having a better Friday than I am. <laughs> I wasted a lot of time working on something that didn't work, um, but it was not really important. Like I didn't need to spend all that time on it, but I did anyway. And now I'm feeling like I could have, you know, kick myself for that. I'm sure I'm not the only one who does that. I did not get my recipes um, typed into Discord or into chat or anything. So if you all need a recipe for anything that I'm working on today, just let me know and I will get it done for you later. And in the meantime, I will try and be very clear about what I'm doing here. Yeah, Rusty, the worst feeling when you focus time on something else and get other stuff building up in the background. Yeah, that's what I did today. I wasted time. I, um, while I am pulling these strawberries, I will uh, talk a little bit about Braidwood Beanery. Um, I'm going for about a half a cup of strawberry puree here, by the way. Um, so I'm just, I'm just putting some strawberries in the blender. Um, and Bravewood Beanery is actually growing a new option for um, coffee bag sizes. Up until now, I have offered a 12 ounce bag or a two ounce sample. And I am in the process of adding an eight ounce bag size because it just seems to me that 12 ounces might be more than you would want to invest in when you're not sure if you're going to like a coffee um, or you're just trying out like a, a new roaster if you've never uh, bought anything from me. Um, but two ounces is not a whole lot to give yourself a chance to try something. So eight ounces is kind of in between. It's a really great gift size. Um, and I have, I've gotten partway through the, uh, updating the listings. I have eight left to go. <laughs> so if you get onto my website and you would like to order an eight ounce bag of coffee and you find one that you'd like to try, but it doesn't have that eight ounce option yet, um, just let me know and I will make sure that it gets put together for you so that you can order it. Um, I should have it, whoops. Dropped the wrong part in there. I should have it all ready to go at some point tonight, but I'm not exactly sure what time because it's Friday and we're going to relax tonight and um, we're going to have pizza and we're probably going to watch the latest episode of Obi-Wan <laughs> because we're nerds like that. Okay, so let me toss these strawberry tops in the compost and rinse my hands off a little. All right, so what are you guys up to this weekend? Anything fun? I'm going to uh, turn on the blender here for a second. Total nerds. We actually um, we watch all of the Star Wars things. And last night, while my husband was at Bible study, Justin and I watched an episode, or we started watching an episode of uh, Strange New Worlds. <laughs> so Star Wars and Star Trek, uh, going over articles. Okay, that as long as it's chill, you know, it's nothing stressful that you have to like memorize or anything. I guess if you do, good on you for working on it on a Friday. <laughs> okay, so we made some strawberry puree. Um, and I'm pretty sure I got at least a half a cup there. Really. 
Oh my goodness. Can you guys see behind me my bread dough? It's threatening to take over the world. <laughs> All right. Um, yes, I, I definitely have half a cup at least of strawberry puree here. Um, let me punch down my bread dough real quick. It's doing well. At least my bread dough is rising, right? Like, Things aren't all bad if if the bread dough is rising like that. Yeah, this is going to make some awesome pizza. All right. Get down in there. Bread dough. Okay. There. It's the gooey off the hands again. Yeah, look at that dough. It's going to take over my kitchen. Okay, so I've been working on um, getting some sounds in, programmed into the chat for certain loyal viewers. Um, I know... I, I really love it when I'm watching somebody else's stream and someone comes in and they just type in exclamation and their username and it plays like a great song. Um, so I've been trying to figure out how to get that set up. And um, that's what put me behind today. <laughs> I even, I Googled and I watched videos and um, the videos that I watched weren't exactly the same as what I was seeing on my computer. So it just, it just didn't work and it was frustrating. But one of these days I'm going to get it figured out and then y'all watch out. We're going to have sounds everywhere. Okay. I'm a musician. I love music. Um, all right. In the bowl of a stand mixer, combine the gelatin, the gelatin, unflavored gelatin with the strawberry puree and give it a swirl to ensure the gelatin doesn't clump and let it sit. Okay, so I need two packages and I only have one in this box, so let me go get another box. There we go. I could not find any large quantities of unflavored gelatin when I was grocery shopping. So I'm using all the little packets here, all two of them. So why does it want me to mix this in the stand mixer? The other recipe that I did, I just mixed it in my measuring cup. Okay. All right, this recipe is a little bit different than the one I made this morning, so this will be exciting. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, my mixer bowl still has bread dough in it from getting my pizza dough ready, so I do need to rinse that out real quick. So it looks like it's about to start an ad. You guys can watch an ad while I'm washing this bowl out. going to combine my gelatin with my strawberry puree in this bowl. Make sure that is all dry. Okay. 
There we go. And I am going to put my whip attachment on here. All right, two envelopes of Knox gelatin, unflavored. And because this bowl is wide at the base, uh, it doesn't come down to a, a narrower shape like um, a KitchenAid mixer. I'm going to make sure that I have that gelatin spread out. And uh, I'm going to give it a little bit of a whirl with a whip. Okay, it did say half a cup of strawberry puree. Oh, that looks good. All right, I've never made strawberry marshmallows, so this is going to be exciting. One message was deleted by a moderator. Okay, um, Cool Cat Paul, if you could summarize your post or uh, break it up into three or four different posts or whatever, then my uh, auto mod won't delete you. Okie dokie. Now I'm going to combine three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. Three quarters of a cup. Okay, that's about three quarters of a cup. With a half a cup of light corn syrup. Corn syrup. This is certainly not a uh, health food. <laughs> okay, half a cup of corn syrup. And then I'm going to put in a pinch of kosher salt. Did I already say what type of pizza I was making? Uh, no, I don't believe I did. Um, we are just going to make whatever kind of pizza I have ingredients for. We always do pepperoni and olive. Um, we do? We do. My son really loves uh, Canadian bacon and pineapple. Well, or, you know, in general, I like pineapple or on pizza. pepperoni and pineapple. I, I don't know. I just, I <laughs> like pineapple on pizza. <laughs> So yeah, Justin really loves pineapple on pizza. I know that's a controversial topic, but that's yes. the way he feels. Okay, so we got the corn syrup in. We need a pinch of salt. My salt canister is nearly empty, but I did buy some more salt. Do I do charities like wigs for kids? Actually, that is quite an interesting question. I am putting together a multi-streamer charity event. We are going to be raising money for Save the Children Foundation, and we're going to be streaming from, oh, it's going to be almost a six-hour stream, um, like 9 a.m. Eastern to um, <laughs> whatever five or six hours after that is. Um, yeah, we're going to be doing it themed like a, a progressive dinner. So the first streamer will be doing like a, an appetizer and then we'll have like a salad and we'll have an entree and we'll have a dessert and we'll go from, from stream to stream to stream as a, a stream raid train. Is that what you call it? A raid train? Uh -huh. Yeah. So it's going to be really cool, and I am trying to come up with some really great incentives to um, coax people into giving to this organization. They're really wonderful, 
And if you would like to check out what they're doing here, there we go. Save the children.org right there. Um, they are working all over the world to feed children in um, very dangerous areas like the Ukraine and Yemen. And um, I don't know all of the, all the locations, but they have it all, all the information on their website if you would like to take a few minutes and check it out. Um, yeah, I don't know if, if any of you guys have ever experienced um, a situation where you just don't have food to eat. Um, um, I'll, I'll get a little bit vulnerable here. Um, as I was growing up, I did experience that. Um, for quite a, quite a while, um, it does not help kids trying to learn uh, if they if they don't know where they're going to get food, um, if they don't know if they're going to be able to eat tomorrow. Um, so anyway, save the children is uh, kind of near and dear to my heart. So let's see. Where was I? Um, okay, I need a quarter of a cup of water. And I'm gonna bring this over here without spilling it. Yay! Nice, I did it. All right. Um, heat on medium high with the lid on for a few minutes to bring it to a boil. Then remove the lid, heat on high heat until a candy thermometer reads exactly 240 degrees. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a bit of a stir first. Oof, I just splashed myself in the face. The uh, corn syrup will kind of adhere to the bottom of the pan a little. Okay. Okay, cool cat Paul. <laughs> I'm sorry, you need to um, post shorter posts, comments in the chat. Okay, got that sort of mixed up. No. I promise this really is a simple recipe. Um, put a lid on it. It is Friday. Friday is the Friday food. And sometimes Friday food for me means we're going all out doing something amazing. And sometimes Friday food means we're um, roasting hot dogs on the beach. So um, tonight we're going a little bit more all out. What do you guys usually do on a Friday? Do you try, try and go simple? Do you spend a little more time? Um, just, you know, you don't have to have dinner early because you get to stay up a little bit later. Um, there are there are so many different ways to handle your Friday. And I know that not everybody's Friday is a Friday. <laughs> um, sometimes Friday comes on a Thursday around here. Sometimes it comes on a Monday or whatever. Cool cat, you're doing a charity to help kids without, without pizza? What, I don't know what that is, and cancer. You order out way more than you should on Fridays. <laughs> we live so far out of town that they do not deliver here, so we don't order out on Fridays. You stay up late Friday so you can game, yeah, that, that sounds cool. Um, we are just going to hang out and eat pizza tonight and maybe we'll roast some of these marshmallows. That'd be fun. You usually have leftovers from Thursdays. Oh yeah. Yeah. Using up the leftovers is important. People have to go in and cut their hair to donate. Oh, oh, okay. So like, um, oh, donating your hair to make wigs for kids who have cancer. 
You used to live one street from the delivery cutoff. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. That'd be frustrating. Your hair has to be eight inches or more and not bleach dyed or colored. Yeah, I actually looked into donating hair to Locks of Love, um, but I have too much sparkle in my hair. They, uh, they don't like silvery <laughs> hair for kids. You know, it makes sense. Okay, so let's see. How long am I supposed to put... The, I'm just supposed to bring this to a boil with a lid on it, right? Yeah, it's just, just starting to boil. Okie dokie. Oh, my timer is done for my bread. Heat on high heat until the candy thermometer reads exactly 240 degrees. Okay. I have this candy thermometer that I got from um, Pampered Chef, and this has been the best candy thermometer I have ever had. Um, I have always, or I used to always use those glass candy thermometers. They're like a big round, like a test tube that clips to the side of your, your uh, saucepan. And um, it never failed. Every time I used one of those, somebody would break it. Either I would break it or one of the kids would drop something or drop it in the sink. Um, and it, I just, I don't know how many of those things I went through. But this Pampered Chef one uh, has, has managed to survive for about, I don't know, gosh, 13 or 14 years. Well, thank you, Cool Cat. I appreciate you being here. And um, good luck with your charity also, your fundraiser. Yeah, you know, Pops Couples, I used to actually sell Pampered Chef products. Um, my older girls and I did Pampered Chef shows to pay for their ballet lessons, ballet and tap dance. Because I kind of figured that those lessons are um, a privilege and I thought that they should be a part of earning um, the money to cover that. And we, we had a good time doing that. Pampered Chef does have some really pretty cool products. Okay, as soon as it reaches 240 degrees, remove it from the heat. This is what one of the things I love about cooking on gas is that when I turn the burner off, it's off. Um, so I don't have to find another place to set my, my pan. I just have to turn the burner off. So we're about to 200 degrees right now. It's getting up there. Um, as soon as it gets to 240 degrees, I'll turn on my mixer. You know what? I said I was going to give this a quick uh, blast with the whisks, and I didn't. What are some other Pampered Chef products that I have loved? Um, oh, the um, the slicer, the egg slicer. That is a super cool tool. I still have an egg slicer. It was a lot of years ago that I was selling Pampered Chef products. Um, the stoneware. Gotta love the stoneware. Trying to keep my eye on this temperature probe here. This morning when I was making the plain marshmallows, um, I made the mistake of using a pan, a saucepan that was barely big enough. Um, so this recipe I'm making with a larger pan because I found that I couldn't turn the, the burner up high enough to get it to boil to really heat up 
uh, be, without boiling it over in the smaller pan. So if you want to make marshmallows, just remember that you might need to use a larger saucepan um, because it does bubble up and it, that takes up extra space in the saucepan. You always under pot or bowl. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem that I have too. Um, and you would think that I would know better by now, but um, there are some things I just don't do every day. You know, I don't make marshmallows every day. And I kind of forget. Because I can be really scatterbrained. <laughs> and if I'm, I'm not doing something regularly, I, it's going to slip my mind. You know, those little things that make things actually work. Okay, we are up to 210. I'm going to turn my burner up a little more. Because I've got a big saucepan, I can do that. Okay. So, Cool Cat Paul, are you still in the chat? Almost to 220, and I'm going to 240 degrees. And um, my timer peaked a few minutes ago for my bread dough. It is done rising, and you can see it's trying to take over again. Uh, I'm going to have to punch that down pretty soon. As soon as I get these marshmallows in their, their um, mold, yes. We're just going to use a square, an 8 by 8 or a 9 by 9 inch square pan. Okay, we're up to about 2.30. So does anybody know, does Cool Cat Fall stream? If so, we could give him a shout out. Do I cover my dough super tight or loosely? I cover my dough very loosely. Um, actually, I don't usually put plastic wrap or anything over it. I just put the lid from my mixer over it and I leave it uh, not tightened down. I have actually broken lids that snap down tight um, trying to do refrigerator dough that rose so much it shattered the lid. Um, so I cover my doughs loosely. If I do find that I need to put plastic wrap over it, I will um, leave it, I, I, I don't cinch it, like seal it against the bowl. I'll leave it loose on the edges. And even putting dough in the freezer, uh, I don't wrap it until after it's frozen. Okay, we're up to 240 degrees. Turn that baby off. And we will carefully set the candy thermometer in the sink. Okay, so now I need to start mixing the gelatin and the strawberry puree, and I'm going to slowly pour the hot sugar into the bowl. Um, and then we'll turn the speed up to high and continue to mix until we have this nice, smooshy, like a uh, melted marshmallow. You know how when you get your marshmallows, when you're roasting your marshmallows over the fire and the outside is just golden brown and crispy, but the inside is like total goo? That's the consistency we're looking for here, okay? <laughs> All right.
Okay, so let's check this and we will see if it's um, thick enough. I think it's close. But maybe use just a little bit more. It still feels a little bit thin and light. And you can see that that sugar that's on there is just totally hard. Um, okay, so maybe I can. I think I'm going to try and set my mixer up at the back of my kitchen so it's a little bit farther away, and then we can work on rolling out pizza dough and making pizza sauce and all that stuff. Okay, uh, here we go. I just have to shift things around a little bit. It's kind of like playing Tetris in my kitchen. Push the espresso maker back and think. Set the mixer right there. Just have to unplug the right thing here. Not the wrong thing because I wouldn't want all of my cameras and equipment to all of a sudden be without power. That would be unfortunate. Alrighty. Um, I've got cords wrapped around each other. There we go. It's still going to be noisy, but hopefully not quite, not quite as bad as having it right there in, in the way. And that stuff back there smells like strawberry. Fresh strawberry. Um, it's going to be great. Okay, so now I have some pizza dough here. And I want my dough to rest for about 10 minutes. I uh, start making it into pizza. And so while that is resting, I divided it into two. Um, while that's resting, we're going to make some sauce. Okay, we're just going to go with like a regular old bread sauce because it's simple, yummy. Uh, like a garlic white sauce, for instance. Um, that is also yummy. Usually, for that, with, uh, like, maybe, um, like, hey, Justin. Justin is the only kid at home today. All the others are out working and. So I'm going to start with because I don't have time. I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Awesome. Try to make this off. Um, i putting stuff together. It is much
That's getting a lot closer. All right, we're going to add a little water to this. And so this is where I'm gonna aggravate people. I don't I rare I never use a vegetable. But yeah, so some people do. So I'll look A goodly portion of our Does have its own flavor. Okay. All right. I think this is ready. Okay, so to get our pan ready for our marshmallow fluff, here it is. We are going to coat it with a mixture of equal parts powdered sugar and cornstarch. Okay, so I have that already made up um, from this morning's batch. And I'm just going to shake it around, or maybe pat it around. It doesn't want to shake very well. Trying to get it up on the sides and everything. Now it's decently. What? I said now it's decently. Decently mixed. Okay. Let's put it down on low, and it's yeah. probably going to need a little more water because that's pretty thick. Yeah. Still okay. So now I have this coated with powdered sugar and cornstarch. All right. Marshmallows are just the okay. Let's go. Thing ever. Yeah. Well, it's not exactly health food. I never said this was going to be health food. Okay, I need my spatula again. I need to spread this before it sets up. But it's not like making caramel corn or something where you have to spread it within, you know, 10 seconds before it starts hardening. It does take marshmallows a few hours to really harden and set up well. Good thing for me. Okay. So here is my fluff. You see it. Here's the fluff. It's definitely thickened now. I need to scrape it off these beaters. So are you making the uh, strawberry flavored ones? Oh, okay. yep. Doesn't that smell like strawberries? I smell it. I didn't really. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, it smells like fresh strawberries and marshmallow. Yeah, these are going to be excellent. I just want to try and make a strawberry s'more. <laughs> uh, yeah. Strawberries and chocolate and graham crackers. I think that would work. Good. Yeah. Could work. Yeah. But... I don't know how it will toast. Like, if that will... You'd have to be careful not to burn it. I don't know that a Well, you have to be strawberry... careful to, to not burn it anyways. Right. I don't think a strawberry, a burned strawberry marshmallow would be really appealing. Normal burnt marshmallows aren't that good. Some people, Some people like, like it, them, but I don't get that. 
<laughs> okay. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing, can you? Not very well. Let's see. Oh, I think. Did my camera freeze up? I can see no, it. I, see, I can see it there. Tastes like a uh, beet sauce. I will try and switch the camera view again for you in a minute. This is kind of in my way anyway. Let's move it. Move it out of the way, and then we'll spread this out as evenly as we can in our prepared pan. And so then this will this set. This, um, yeah, did you put any more water in it? Yeah. That tea kettle right next to you. No oh, water. Okay. Oh. Okay. This is um, pretty heavily crusted with sugar. There we go. Is that good? Is that good, Mike? Does it look pizza sauce consistency? Yeah. Yeah? I don't, I don't like know. the way you like your pizza sauce? I don't know. I don't have a specification for how I like my pizza sauce. I know, but you know how I usually make it. Does that seem like it's the same thickness? I never think about it. <laughs> okay. I don't All right. Know. It looks good. I don't know. All right. Oh, my goodness. This is so marshmallowy. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't be getting your fingers in that too much because that it's will gonna be not super get sticky. Off. Yeah. Well, it's sugar. It'll dissolve. Just have to get my hands wet. I have a lid to put on it. I should have. I turned the burner off, but I don't have a lid to put on. I should have oiled my um, spatula here to keep the marshmallow stuff from sticking to it. My batch this morning actually um, <laughs> spread it, spread out really nicely. So once yes. I get this spread in this pan, I'm going to set it aside and let it set up for a few hours, and um, we will start making some pizzas. And then once we get the pizzas in the oven, we will bring out the pan of marshmallows that I made this morning, and I'll show you how to cut them and um, and roll them. The stream keeps freezing. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just our bad internet. I don't know. Let's see. Hmm. If you watch it. Okay, so. Well, it's okay now. Ariel Siren, thank you for the follow. I, I'm sorry, I did not hear that. I'm not hearing my uh, sound alerts. Not hearing. Okay. Not hearing, yeah. But I do appreciate you being here. Welcome to the Beanery. My name is Wendelica, and right now my hands are covered in strawberry marshmallow fluff. Um, <laughs> but I am the roaster behind Braywood Beanery. I roast coffee, and I ship it all over the world. Do you want to taste that? I haven't even tasted it yet. See how it tastes. Oh my gosh, that's good. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh, <laughs> we're definitely making strawberry marshmallows again. Oh. Wow. Yeah, okay. that's good. Yeah, that's really good. Okay. I'm imagining these dipped in dark chocolate. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. Washing my hands now. Oh, my goodness, that's good. Yeah, it is. It's fresh strawberries. And yeah, it tastes like it... Yeah, it's not artificially strawberry flavored. It it's tastes like strawberries. Yeah, I, that's so good. Mmm. Okay, so we're going to set this aside, and we're going to start making pizzas. This is, this is kind of hard. Okay. Oh my goodness. Other than working with us, it's going to be so yummy. <laughs> You guys, I'm going to have to post this recipe for you because it is so good. So, so good. All the flour and stuff. It makes my nerves tingle. Yeah. 
I don't know if that's just something that I... Okay. Oh, you know what? That's... Start over. I need to uh, preheat my oven to 425 for the pizzas. Justin, let's see. You want to make your own little pizza? I don't know. You could probably eat a whole big pizza all by yourself, huh? Mm, I don't know. <gasps> Pop Scoggles got your coffee. Have you tried it yet? <gasps> oh my goodness. I want to hear what you think. Does it smell good? Tell me it smells good. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, that is so exciting. That's cool. We're going to do another coffee giveaway someday. Not today, but soon. We'll do another coffee giveaway. That was a lot of fun. All right, Justin, what do you want to bake your, your um, pizza on? Do you want to use a pizza stone, or do you want to do, like, put two on a bun pan? Two pizzas? You could do that. Uh, or do I want to make a big pizza? Oh, I've pizza. never made a big pizza before. Oh. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of room for rolling out a big pizza right now. Okay, so we're going to put a baking sheet here. Can't smell yet. No surgery last week. Oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. Uh, when do you think uh, your olfactory it senses will be again. back to normal? Use the low latency toggle. Disable low latency mode. See, it keeps on doing it. It does. Is that just us or? Um, I'm not sure. Because I'm not using Twitch Studio. Let's see if I can fix that. All right, is that better? I think that's better. Um. Yeah, I think that's better. Okay. Um, so I'm going to take one half of this dough, here, and this will be Justin's pizza, and I will make a pizza, and uh, we'll put them in the oven as soon as the oven is hot. So let's put a silk hat mat on the pan. Do you want to get out the cheese and the olives? I think we have olives in the I'm opening them all in the fridge. Okay. Cool. There's cheese. Uh, um, there should be Canadian bacon. And yep. There should be pepperoni in there. Oh. Uh, the, the, the fridge kind of has a lot of stuff in it right now. It does. We just went grocery around, shopping. Okay, around everything. Canadian bacon. Nice. Canadian bacon. Aka ham. For those in Canada, it's ham. <laughs> and something to catch. Um, hmm. Pepperoni. pepperoni. I think pepperoni is just called pepperoni everywhere. Yeah. All right. And of course pineapple. Except that I'm oh. like the only person who likes. Oh, I like pineapple. Mm -hmm. I eat pineapple pizza. Okay, we also have some um, spinach. I like pineapple in general, mm -hmm. not just on pizza. I, I, uh, on my eleventh birthday, I got a can of pineapple for my birthday. His big sister gave, gave him a can of pineapple for his birthday yes. because he loves pineapple that much. It's, okay. not, it's not as good as freshly cut pineapple, but it was actually good. Because, I don't know, it's out of a can. It's not as good. Right. So I'm going to try and form my pizza just with my hands instead of using a rolling pin. Uh, I do have a rolling pin over there if you want to use a rolling pin. This is going to require some more flour. Flour on my hand. I'm not saying I'm okay, but I don't. And thank you for the follow, Hulin BB. I do appreciate having you here. Welcome to the Beanery. My name is Wendelica, and um, I am making pizza right now. We made some strawberry marshmallows, 
and we're making pizza. We're going to make some strawberry spinach salad. It's a very springy kind of menu today. Even though it's summer. starting to stop. Alright, so I am trying to form my pizza. In what, like 18, 17 days? Yeah, it's coming up. I am trying to form this pizza without using a rolling pin. I just want to use my hands. Oh, I got a thin spot in there. Hey, does anybody ever toss their dough? Oh, I got a hole in it. Seems kind of far. Uh, yeah, that was a fail. <laughs> All right. So I will just patch that back together, and I'll never have it. Yep. No one will ever know. Except you all. Don't tell. And you're also, you know, putting it out on the internet for a period. Anyone can see it, but... Hey, I'm not selling pizza, I'm selling coffee. <laughs> no, but the, you're gonna post this stream on YouTube. Maybe. Not every stream gets posted on YouTube. And also, people can go back and rewatch streams on the channel. Yes, for a I while. Don't know. For a while. I don't know. They drop off at the end of, I don't know, what the like this. Okay, so I have my pizza crust basically formed. It does have one really thin spot, but uh, that's what it's forks fine. are for. We'll just eat it with a fork. Okay. Who eats pizza with a fork? And my pizza crust came out Ooh. larger than half of the pan, so I'm going to have to get another pan for you. Okay, so I'm just going to put some sauce on it. Um, let's get another pan out for you. So, are we making big pizzas too? Um, maybe. I've got another lump of dough. I mean, that's a couple. Decently. Yes. That's a decently. It is a pretty good sized pizza. Like, that's almost a large size if you were buying it at a pizza place. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm just going to throw some sauce on it. Here, you want to work with your your uh, dough there? It's kind of a big lump of dough. It is a big lump of dough. It's going to make another nearly large size pizza. Let's just do that. You can have the whole counter. And... Here, should we show off what you're doing? Hmm? I don't know. Hmm. Use the flour. I'm no professional. <laughs> That's okay. All right, we'll show off Justin's pizza making skills. <laughs> Which I have none. That's okay. Like I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put some sauce on my pizza here. It's Friday night, pizza night, pizza and Star Wars, pizza and Star Wars. I mean, you can't, can't, I don't know. I don't know. I will probably try and get some more seeds planted in the garden this afternoon, also, besides just making pizza and watching Star Wars. And we're going to have to roast some s'mores, some marshmallows. Obviously, I mean, yeah, some strawberry s'mores. Just no question. Okay. I don't make pizzas that look good. I just like making pizzas. <laughs> yeah, the flavor is what really matters. Okay. I'm going to put some mozzarella cheese all over this. It's got like a really thick spot and a really thin spot. Hmm. So if you can even out the thick spot. Might, might work better. Okay, so what should I put on mine? I really do like bell peppers. If we didn't get out, I should get the bell peppers out. Oh, yes. 
We didn't pre-cook like bacon or anything to put on it, but that would have been nice. That would have been nice. I do have some fresh tomatoes. So we'll probably slice some tomatoes. Usually I just like put like a little bit of everything on my... Uh, One thing that always stays the same is I put pineapple. Trying to find my peppers. Oh, there they are. There they are. They've got plenty of them. Grab this. Uh, I need somewhere to put this so that I can put my peas on it. Got some olives, got some peppers, got some tomatoes. All the Where can I put this so that I can put my peas in it? Okay, there's only so much space. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so I will just put mine up toward the back of the stove and you can have the closer right. spot. Alright. Okay. Let's I will see cut. if I can. I've got oh. these mini sweet peppers. Oh. oh. Here we go. Mini sweet peppers. I mean, just like reshape. We really it. like these because they're nice and sweet. I used to eat those things just like as a snack. I mean, I still do. <laughs> Sometimes. Those mini peppers are really yummy. And it's nice because you can cut just a couple little mini peppers and not have a lot of leftover cut pepper. Um, Oh, oh, it's coming apart. It's coming oh, apart. no! Right. Oh, oh, no. It's okay. It'll it'll still taste fine. I'm just gonna, like, reshape it. I was trying to put flour under it, because I forgot to do that before it's I... It's okay. You can just cut it into squares. It'll be perfect. No, but, like, on the uh, underneath it. I mean, I oh, got you've got a silk fat mat under it, so... Yeah, I... I... <laughs> Or were you, did you mean on the counter no. while you were working with it? No. I don't know. I'm not trying to, I'm professional. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go back here. All right. I am just taking the seeds out of these. Seeds in the ribs real quick. Yep, the sauce comes first, and then the cheese. Did we get the olives out too? Oh, yeah, yes, I, I did get the olives out. Looking at stuff on the stream here. All right, I am going to just slice my bell peppers into strips and lay them on my pizza. All right, what would you like next? Pizza, a uh, cheese? Yeah, cheese next. I remember when I could have cheese. <laughs> it's so nice to have grown out of that dairy mm -hmm. allergy, isn't it? Not sure how that works, but yeah. it's not as much of a problem now as it used to be. It's not much of a problem. Mm -hmm. Still, it does affect me a tiny little bit. It so, Pops Cuckles, if you're still here, um, I know that you can't smell yet, but can has that affected your taste? I'm curious. Why would that affect taste? Because your sense of smell and your sense of taste are very closely related. They actually work yeah, together. Right. He had surgery recently on his nose. Yeah, I know. I did. Yeah. Yep. Would you like any bell peppers on your pizza? Mm. Deciding what I Oh, want. you couldn't smell well before the surgery? Okay. That's probably why you were having surgery, right? Yeah. Yep. Um, I had um, COVID, which affected my sense of smell. 
uh, uh, and taste. For a while after that, uh, uh, everything just smelled like Doritos and cat food. <laughs> and also, uh, before that time, for a while, everything is smelled. I think I've had it two times because one time everything. I don't know if this was different, but another time everything smelled like uh, expired margarine. But yeah, it's weird. This smell distortion from COVID. It's crazy. Hopefully, you smell better than before when you heal. I hope so. Did they give you any sort of an idea of how long it would take to heal up? Deviated septum. Yeah, my nephew had to have that same surgery. Okay. So, you should be able to taste your coffee, right? <laughs> Alright, I'm just throwing some black olives on this pizza. Oven still heating up. I'm going to look around you here. All right, what else should I put on this pizza? I do have the fresh tomatoes that I will put on after it, how do you open this? After it comes out of the oven. Oh, well, we might have to cut that. All right, let's see. Um, where are my shears? Scissors. I don't think I could operate in my kitchen without shears. There we go. Okay. You take this one. Um, that, yeah, it has a tear open thing. I will put this one in the refrigerator. No, it actually doesn't. It doesn't? No. Well, it's supposed to fall apart as a peel thing. My hands are greasy. Oh, yeah, that doesn't help. Alright. Hmm? Yeah, it does pull apart. Three weeks for normal activity, six to seven for contact sports, several months for all swear swelling. I almost said swearing. <laughs> you can't swear for at least seven months. <laughs> well, I mean, that's just my line. <laughs> Well, I do feel for you. I um, I couldn't smell after having COVID for a good six months. So um, I hope that it doesn't take that long for you. I really, really do. Oh, pineapple. I need to open the pineapple. How's about it? Here, here, hold it level. There we go, so we don't spill it. Would you like me to save the pineapple juice for you? Okay. Here, we'll just don't open it all the way. We'll use the lid as kind of a strainer. But the oven's not even up to four hundred degrees yet, so we got time. Three sixty. It's a three. Three sixty. There, there we go. It's 360 degrees, and we need it to get up to 425 Fahrenheit. 361. Yep, yeah, it's getting there. It'll get there eventually. Okay, now you got some pineapple. Great. I think I'll throw some pineapple on mine. Grab a all right, so what all do you guys like on your pineapple, or on your pineapple? What do you like on your pineapple? What all do you like on your pizza? I think I asked this question once before. 
And I don't know if I caught the answers in chat. Or you know you don't. Well, I think mine is maybe ready to go in the oven. You want anything else on yours? Show you Justin's pizza here. There it is. Cheeseburger pizza. Yes, I remember seeing that in the chat. I don't know if I responded earlier. Um, so what do you put on cheeseburger pizza? I'm assuming cheeseburger uh, wings. ground beef, right? And um, maybe some cheddar cheese besides the mozzarella. Do you do two, two kinds of cheeses? That sounds yummy to me. Do you put pickles on it? Well, I'm thinking for a cheeseburger pizza mm -hmm. that you bake it with the ground beef and with the red sauce. Fry sauce base. Oh, and Colby Jack cheese. Okay, that sounds good. So then, this is what I'm imagining. Ground beef, cheeses, your fry sauce. Um, and then when it comes out, adding pickle and tomato and maybe some shredded lettuce or something. I, th I think that could work. I don't know if I'd want uh, mustard on it. No. You wouldn't need it with fry sauce. But it does sound intriguing. It really, really does. Um, intriguing. Intriguing. Yeah. If I had some hamburger ready, I'd, uh, I'd try that. So I think I would have, I could, I could make fry sauce. But I don't have any hamburger handy. Ground beef with cooked iced onion. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot the onion. Mmm. That actually sounds good. That sounds really good. We might have to try that sometime. Yeah. I think we have to oh, the possibilities. There's so many things you can do with pizza. You put something on bread with cheese and right? bake it with a sauce or some kind. And voila, pizza. Maybe not its intended way of okay. making pizza, okay. but yes, pizza. Top with sliced pickle and, dri and drizzle with ketchup and mustard and roasted garlic. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. I want to I wanna come to pizza night at your house. That sounds so good. <laughs> Except that he probably doesn't live around here. <laughs> I don't know. You, you never know. People um, on Twitch are from all over the place. Oh, <laughs> my, um, my chat bot just automatically posted the recipe from a couple streams ago when we did the cheeseburger full parts. Those were also yummy. But why? Um, I think because he used the word recipe. And I, it just automatically put it up there because that's the way I set it up. Um, but for this stream today, I did not take the time to update all of my recipes. So that's an old recipe. It's a good one, though, if you want to try it. It is actually pretty good. And you can it probably find dry. the vibe. It was a little dry. It was a little dry. Um, like, and it took longer to bake than the recipe specified. It was less dry. It had more flavor. Uh, you just need to put more fry sauce on it. <laughs> yeah, the fry sauce did help. The fry without, sauce was pretty good. But without the fry sauce, it wasn't as good. Okay. If you ask me. Okay. We're at 412 degrees. It's almost time to put these pizzas in the oven. Um, and then I will need to make another pizza. Yes, it had to go back in at the end of the stream. Yeah, I was so disappointed with that. Um, but it, it really did turn out good. It was yummy. Oh, you add Frank's Red Hot to your fry sauce. I do like a spicy fry sauce. That sounds good. I like smoked Tabasco sauce. Smoked Tabasco is pretty yummy. It's one of our favorites. Not spices. sure if it would go in fry sauce well, but I do like it. I put some in the fry sauce for the um, cheeseburger pull aparts. <clears throat> Careful, I got this wires stuff. here. Yeah, Stuffy. it's good stuff. Okay. Um, 423 degrees. 
That's, that's, that's close, close enough. enough. <laughs> All right. I'm going to put the, the convection fan on. And... There we go. I'm going to put both pieces in the oven. And then we'll get another piece ready to go in. I know. There are only three of us at home right now. Um, the normal marshmallows are hard. Yes. Hard and very well. yeah, there are only three of us eating dinner here tonight, and I am making three pizzas. So we get one pizza per person. No, I, I, I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to need all of that, but I really love cold pizza for breakfast. So I'm going to go ahead and make a, a third pizza. It's not as good as hot pizza, but it's pretty good. It's pretty yummy. Um, and I think I'm going to use my actual pizza pan. Yeah. Uh, pizza for, with the kind of pizza we usually make, it's a perfect amount to uh, eat some for dinner and then finish it off in the morning. Yeah. With the amount of yeah. pizza. But we are spending this summer learning how to make smaller quantities of food, as I make three full-size pizzas for three people. Um, this is actually much less than I normally make when it's pizza night. I um, have always had a very large family, and so cooking small portions is really a challenge. But this summer, Justin is the only kid at home. Um, the others are all off working. My 20-year-old does live here on the property but she is a paramedic student and she is usually on shift at the fire station. So thank you for following. Thank you so much, Darky. I appreciate your comment there. I'm glad you're enjoying my uh, content. My name is Wendelica. And welcome to Bravewood Beanery. We're so glad to have you here. I am going to make one very large pizza here. I am making pizzas. We started off the stream making homemade marshmallows. We made a batch of strawberry marshmallows and they are setting up right now. As soon as I get these pizzas done, I am going to um, bring out a batch of marshmallows that I made this morning, and I'm going to show you how to cut them and, and um, get them all finished and ready to go. You're hungry? I'm hungry too, seriously. It is 4 p.m. right now, and... I'm hoping to have this pizza done by about five o'clock. We're gonna make some strawberry spinach salad. We've got the, the homemade marshmallows that we're gonna have fun with. We're gonna make some s'mores out on the deck tonight, I think. It's gonna be just a really nice, relaxed Friday evening. Okay. So, Darky, have you ever um, made homemade pizza before? Has anyone else in chat made homemade pizza before? Well, I know that Pops Cockles has made homemade pizza. And I am trying to do this all just with my hands instead of using my rolling pin. Just because my counter space is really limited and if I use a rolling pin, I'm gonna knock into my computer here. So I think that will suffice. This one will be put on. And spread this out. It's going to have a really thick crust. 
Who here really loves a thick crust pizza? Just gonna give this a quick, the crust a quick turn. Let me show you what I'm doing here. Get my mouse over here where it belongs. Okay. Trying not to push anything off the end of the counter. So I'm just, hmm. There we go. Just giving it a quick turn, a little stretch. Working my way around the pizza here. You know what? I did not set a timer on those pizzas that I just put in the oven. So let's give them, say, 15 minutes. And I don't hear my convection fan going. Hmm, that's weird. That setting on my oven isn't working right. It actually, I think, shut down, shut off my oven because it cooled down a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna rinse some dough off my fingers here. shouldn't have moved that over there. We'll move it back here so you can see. And we will put some sauce on here. We're just going to kill off all the sauce that I had in the pan. It'll be perfect. You know, sometimes I dream of actually keeping up with all the dishes when I'm streaming. Um, I am not managing to do that today. It'll be fine. I can wash the dishes later. This is barely going to be enough sauce. So we're going to have to put extra cheese on it or something. I use my hands a lot when I'm cooking, which means I have to rinse my hands a lot when I'm cooking. <laughs> okay, here we go. Some mozzarella. We're going to use a lot of mozzarella. Super cheesy pizza. Does anybody like their pizza with extra cheese? We're probably going to use all of this bag. This big old pizza. Okay, now my oven's heated up. And there goes the fan. Okay, cool. Just, there. Empty it all. Lots of cheese. There was a period in my life when I was young when my mom would get some frozen bread dough from the grocery store and she would use an entire loaf's worth of dough to make pizza, to make a pizza. She'd just thaw it out and let it roll, all, roll it all out into a pizza crust and then she would take like a whole brick of cheese and she would grate it all over and it would be like mounded up 
I don't know, four or five inches deep on the pizza. Um, <laughs> and you would think that you couldn't have too much cheese. Like there's no such thing as too much cheese until you actually have a pizza with too much cheese. <laughs> it gets pretty intense. So, um, yeah. but you know, that's one of my fond childhood memories. <laughs> my mom's way too cheesy pizzas. I do not put quite so much cheese on my pizzas, but I do re remember those pizzas quite fondly. Here, have some Canadian bacon. Uh-oh, Justin. He can reach the um, smoke detector better than I can to turn it off. Right. Thank you. Oh, and now my phone is ringing. Okay. I am going to show you guys my uh, coffee ad while I answer the phone. Are you feeling tired? Do you have trouble staying awake for a 48 hour shift? How many hours do we have left? 47 and a half. Do you have trouble staying awake for long transports, especially at night? Do you struggle to wake up after just 10 minutes of sleep? Let's go! Have you ever slept through your pager? Bravewood Beanery Coffee is best used freshly roasted and freshly ground. Use first thing in the morning or any time you need to stay awake. Side effects may include euphoria, feelings of well-being, uncontrollable burst of song, enhanced ability to form sentences, sharpened focus, ability to handle social interactions, pleasant facial expressions, generalized contentment, satisfaction with life, higher daily step count, sporadic urges to do backflips and cartwheels, unusual bouts of brilliance, increased wit, accelerated joke rate, good mood, tendency towards laughter, interdimensional perception, motivation to complete tasks, and increased productivity. Please visit bravewoodbeanery.com for more information. That's bravewoodbeanery.com, B-R-A-V-E, W-O-O-D-B-E-A-N-E-R-Y dot com for more information. Thank you. Okay, I'm back just in time. And um, let's see. There we go. We'll get this set up as a camera again, since I was using it as a phone. All right, so we've got eight minutes left on the pizza, and I think I will um, probably have to rotate those. And I'm going to put the rest of these uh, olives away. Add some pineapple because Canadian bacon requires pineapple, right? <laughs> Gotta have the hula lula. All right, what did you guys think of my ad? I really love that that ad that features um, Zero Brew, who I met here on Twitch through his wife. Little Miss Nikki's stream. 
Um, we had so much fun putting that ad together. And actually, if you know somebody who would appreciate the humor um, behind that that um, medicine bottle filled with coffee beans, uh, you can actually order that on my website. My website is... Type it in for you. Exclamation website brings it up. Bravewoodbeanery.com. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Alrighty. Um, so now I'm going to clean off my counter. And while the pizzas are baking, we are going to finish up those, um, those uh, marshmallows. I have red dough all over the counter here. I'll get it cleaned up and then we'll move on. Okay. I might want to use this knife. Not sure which one will work best. We shall see. All right, and if you would like to um, request any of these recipes, um, go ahead and follow me on Discord. Whoops, let's type it in correctly. Right there. And um, I will try and post some recipes for you guys. I tell you, those strawberry um, marshmallows are to die for. But just smelling them is driving me nuts. Okay. So here is the batch of marshmallows that I made this morning. And I'll put the batch of strawberry ones next to them so you can see them. So they take somewhere between two and four hours to set up. This is the strawberry batch. I don't know if you can see how pink that is. It's kind of blowing out on the camera, but I promise it really is pink. So these are still setting up. These ones are just plain vanilla ones. And um, I'm going to cut them. I I lined my pan with foil. You can use parchment paper. Actually, I prefer parchment paper, um, but I didn't have any, so I used foil. And that also works. So you can just lift it right out of the pan. And I don't know if you can see this powdery coating here underneath it is a combination of powdered sugar and cornstarch, and it is equal parts powdered sugar and cornstarch. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these into cubes, and then I'm going to roll them in more of that um, powdered sugar cornstarch combination. And then they will be all ready to use. So just use a portion of it at a time. And I think this, this is pretty thin. It's only about a half an inch deep. So I could make mini marshmallows out of this. Um, but we want something that we can roast. So they're going to be skinny, but they'll be fine. So I think I'm going to make them about, is that an inch and a half maybe? They have a little bit of a crust to the top. As you can see it's kind of cracking as I'm cutting it. And they don't have to be perfectly cubical, you know, they're just marshmallows. I 
here. We'll cut some skinny ones to put in cocoa. We'll make some mini marshmallows. Because I think these ones will be fun. So what do you think? Are these going to work on toasting marshmallow roasting sticks? I'll have to um, take some pictures when we're roasting marshmallows <laughs> so you guys can see how it worked. Um, I need something to put these in. So I know this isn't big enough to hold all of them, but I can put some of them in it. So I'm just rolling them in the powdered sugar and cornstarch and just to coat those cut edges that I just cut so they don't stick together. Okay, let's see about rotating those pizzas. I hope you guys are enjoying watching me make pizzas and marshmallows. Actually, that looks pretty good. I think I'm just going to put that on a cooling rack over here. All right, I'm going to need another cooling rack. I don't have any room here near the camera to show you guys or to, to put my cooling pizzas. These are going to go on the table. They'll be all ready to cut and serve for dinner. This big pizza put in the oven. Okay, and I think that's going to take a little bit longer than those small ones did, but there's only one. So let's start our timer at about 17 minutes and then we can check that. Okay. So we'll continue rolling the cut edges of our marshmallows. And this just keeps them from being all sticky. Justin? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. You can tell dinner's almost ready. Smoke detector's going off, right? <laughs> okay, these are gonna be so good. Um, this recipe calls for a half a tablespoon of vanilla, which seems like a lot of vanilla, but I actually put in even more. <laughs> I just, you know, casually flopped a little extra in there really like vanilla. I should show you guys these are Nice and squishy, spongy, very marshmallowy. They're going to be so much fun to roast tonight.
So is anybody going to go out and try and make some marshmallows soon? They are all kinds of fun. And I'm really curious about how these are going to roast. And I will have to put the mini marshmallows in um, here. They're going to be so much fun on some hot cocoa. Trying to make them sort of <clears throat> like the size of a set of dice. Wouldn't that be cute? A little uh, if you took a tiny little piping bag or a piping bag with a tiny little tip and put like dots for dice on there. That would be so cute. Okay, try not to get powdered sugar all over my entire kitchen here. I'm just sort of tossing them and hoping I get them nicely coated here. Kind of getting low on the powdered sugar and cornstarch. These really aren't that sticky. Surprisingly, I just made them this morning. See this little little bit of an end that's not square. I think I'm going to taste it. Oh, wow. That just melts away in your mouth. So good. And very vanilla flavored. Yeah, that's so definitely going to be a hot cocoa topping treat. So we've got some mini marshmallows right here. We've got some big marshmallows over here. And they're all coated in this wonderful powdered sugar and cornstarch combination that has gotten all over everything. Clean off this knife. And I am so curious about how these are going to roast because I have made homemade marshmallows before, but I've never roasted homemade marshmallows. So it's going to be an adventure. I am ready for an adventure. My Friday was less than stellar, um, but we're making up for it now. Oops. I'm throwing stuff on the floor. Alrighty. So I do have another batch of marshmallows that are still setting up back here on the back of the counter. And they are going to need to set up for a couple more hours. 
before I can cut them and roll them in the powdered sugar and cornstarch. This counter cleared off, cleaned a little bit. Um, okay, so I've got 10 more minutes on the pizza that's in the oven. And I don't know where I put my towel. I had a towel here for drying things. Misplaced it. Oh, it dropped on the floor. Okay, I'm gonna need a new one. And I'm clean out of towels. But I do have a clean dishcloth, so that will work. Alrighty, so. The next part of this meal is going to be a strawberry spinach salad, which is um, an old pampered chef recipe. I have right over here, and I have a bunch of spinach from my garden that I need to use up. Right here, I just picked this this morning. Um, so the main part of making this salad really is the dressing. Um, the salad itself is going to be some quartered strawberries, some sliced cucumber, some sliced red onion, and the spinach. Um, and then, uh, the dressing is some lemon juice, some white wine vinegar, sugar, vegetable oil, and puppy seeds. Um, so it's pretty simple. It will allow us a little more vegetable matter with our pizza dinner tonight. Um, so I am going to just trim the stems off of these, these spinach leaves because I like spinach, but we don't always appreciate the stems as much as the rest of the leaf. So I'm just going to... Take that out of the bowl. We'll rinse this out. And I apologize for all the buffering. Um, my computer is hardly capable of streaming at all. It usually does better than this though. Oh, I'm dropping spinach on the floor. So these leaves are so huge, I think I'm going to slice them into smaller pieces. So chat, you guys um, like fresh spinach? Do you prefer your spinach cooked? Do you prefer it raw? I really like spinach and I will eat it anyway, whether it's cooked or raw or what. I don't like it cooked to the point of being slimy and gross. Um, <laughs> I don't like canned spinach because that's already slimy and gross before it even gets to you. There's nothing you can do to make that better but I really do appreciate some fresh spinach. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna take some of these and bunch them up and slice right through the whole bunch. And I don't want to crush the leaves, but I do want to slice through them. So that gives us something that's more manageable to eat. Okay. 
Oh, Rose, hello. I am so glad to see you here. I apologize. My menu command is out of date. <laughs> we are making pizza, strawberry spinach salad, and homemade marshmallows. It's a very springy sort of menu tonight. So there's my spinach all cut, or mostly cut. I missed that piece. Okay. And I need to get a cutting board out again so that I can slice some red onion and some cucumbers. I've used up about half of the dishes in my kitchen already. <laughs> There. Now we have a clean cutting board. <laughs> so Rose, what are you up to today? Have you had a good day? I have to admit mine has been a challenge. Here's a disaster. Oh my goodness, there must be something in the air. My husband called me a minute ago and he's having a really rough day too. Um, we need to do something about this. Turn our day around. All right, cucumber. And I've got some tomatoes that I'm gonna need to cut for topping my pizza. Rose, I sincerely hope that your day gets better. I am really trying to make mine improve. <laughs> okay, I'm only gonna use almost half of this cucumber. There are only three of us at home today. I don't need to make enough salad for an army. The kids aren't being bad, just playing loud. The baby's fussy. Mama got him. Okay. Yeah, those days happen. I can relate. I am grateful that I don't still have fussy babies in the house, but you got to go through the fussy baby stage to have the helpful older kids stage. You know what I mean? And oh my gosh, I remember when my kids were little, those little kid giggles. I mean, you go through anything for that, right? That is what makes it all worth everything. He's got his first tooth poking through. Oh my gosh. No wonder he's fussy. You know, I get fussy too when I have pain like that. It just won't go away. And I can understand that it's not going to last forever. Babies don't understand that. I hope his tooth comes through quickly for him. for all you guys. <laughs> oh, hey, I just noticed up on the, uh, the right side of the screen, we have a couple um, little, uh, what do you call them, emojis here. One that says stream stickers and one that says send coffee. I've never noticed the send coffee one up there before. Um, like, I think that just popped up there for the first time. I set that up a long time ago, and now it's finally showing up. And then we've got the stream stickers, which is fun. You can slap a, a sticker. This is the one that Joy likes to slap on my face all the time. Oh, it's not letting me use it. Okay, never mind. All right, there's my timer for my pizza. The stream stickers used to work. So now the stream stickers are working with the send, or the stream stickers are not working with the send copy is working. I don't know. All right, I think that pizza needs a little more time. I think I'm gonna turn off the convection fan 
because it is in there all by itself. So there we go. We'll give it a few more minutes. All right. So I've got spinach and I've got cucumber in here. I need to put some yellow or not yellow, red onion. Six messages were deleted by a moderator. Okay, Rose, I'm sorry, my auto mod um, deletes messages that are too long, too many characters. Um, so if you just send me, I know, I'm sorry. Um, if you send the messages broken up so that it, there's each post is smaller, it should be fine. <laughs> I do want to hear what you had to say, though. I need to change that setting. It's It gets all kinds of people. Okay, so I think I'm going to need just like a piece of this red onion. I don't need the whole thing for just a smallish kind of salad. Okay, so I'm just going to slice this into little, little bitty wedges. Yeah, kids getting on your nerves, I totally understand. Sometimes you just have to take a minute, <laughs> you know, you can't find a new bottle of dish soap. Oh my gosh. Those things, they seem like they shouldn't be anything, but they can really bother you. Um, last night I was making, was I making, oh, I was making pad thai for dinner and I could not find my soy sauce anywhere. And I was looking all over the refrigerator. Like, I just went grocery shopping, and so the refrigerator is stuffed full of stuff. So so you can hardly even see what you've got to use it because it, you know, stuff packed too deep in there. And I could not find the soy sauce. And I was like, how am I going to make pad thai without soy sauce? And I was kind of like walking around the kitchen going, ah, you know. And my husband came in, and he opened the refrigerator, and I looked at him, I said, what are you looking for? Like, I'm cooking dinner. <laughs> and he said, I'm trying to find your soy sauce. <laughs> so um, he, like, scurried around and moved things around and stuff. And he was just about to give up. And then he looked over in the door, and it was right there in the door of the refrigerator. Uh, oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's trivial in the long run, but ugh. Why does it have to happen to me, right? <laughs> okay. Check that pizza again. It's looking pretty good. But I think it needs to be a little bit more bubbly in the middle. The cheese is just starting to brown on it. Um, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Okay, I don't want to set this on top of the stove because it will get too hot and my spinach leaves will get wilty. I think I have too many bits, have heavier bits for the amount of spinach leaves I have in here. Beyonce just brought me big dish soap and detergent and pads of all things. Okay. Well, um, I'm glad he's taking care of you. Okay. Set that out of the way. I'll set it over here on top of the Ethiopian coffee. All right. And I will get some of these scraps into the compost. <laughs> First time he's done that. Oh, that's very sweet. He's learning. <laughs> okay. My husband has no problem <laughs> bringing me whatever I need. <laughs> I really do appreciate him a lot. It is good to know that your special someone loves you enough 
to bring you anything. <laughs> Five years in, just take it. Yeah. Um, just enjoy what you've got right now, right? Okay, let's make the dressing for this. We need some lemon juice and some white wine vinegar. And I have this handy dandy tool that I got from Pampered Chef um, that needs to be rinsed off. Good grief. I haven't used it in a while. So this cool thing is just for mixing salad dressing. Where goes my timer again? Stop. And the cool thing about it, besides just being really um, convenient for mixing your dressing, is that it has it has recipes printed on it with lines, and you just start at the bottom, and you put the first item listed up to that line, and then you take the next item listed and and pour it into that line, and you just go up until the thing's full, and you shake it around. Um, the recipe that I am going to be doing is not one that's printed on the bottle. The, the um, what do they call this? It's a salad dressing maker, mixer. And I can't think of what the actual name of the product is. <laughs> but anyway, it's great for making salad dressing. <laughs> and you can't find your earbud. Oh my gosh. Well, do they call it a mix and measure? It might be called the mix and measure cup. I got this a long time ago. Um, I used to sell Pampered Chef <laughs> way back in the day when Pampered Chef was like the new thing and really cool. Um, and the kids and I did Pampered Chef shows together to help pay for their dance classes. So that was really cool. It was a, a good time spent with them. All right, lemon juice, vinegar. <laughs> somewhere. If I can find the white wine vinegar, we'll be doing really well. Um, hmm. I have some apple cider vinegar. You might end up having to be creative. I've got balsamic vinegar. i got rice vinegar. That would work. <sighs> Somebody's trying to call me. Hold on. Joy is video calling me right now. Okay, you want to say hello? Hi. <laughs> All right. Can I call you after I'm done? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I will talk to you later. Okay. Oh my goodness. I must be over uh overextending my stream time because I keep keep getting people contacting me, trying to call me. Um and I think I just lost my connection to my my phone. All right. So we're done with the overhead camera angle and my dog wants to come er, in, out, something. What? You want to go out? So. All right. My dog, Captain, is quite elderly. And he, um, when he wants to go out, he doesn't even go to the door anymore. He just lays on the floor and yips until he's certain that somebody is coming to open the door. So he doesn't have to stand up if he doesn't, 
if there's nobody coming. Where's my other hot mitt? Good grief, Rose. I can't find my hot mitt. <laughs> I'm going to have to do this one handed, but look at how gorgeous that pizza is. I think that is going to be a pretty yummy dinner. All right, we are making, we're making salad dressing. <laughs> lemon juice. I need lemon juice. Where's my lemon juice? Okay, so the recipe tells me to squeeze a lemon, um, but I'm not going to squeeze a lemon. Uh, how much lemon juice equals one lemon? One, oh, excuse me, three tablespoons of lemon juice equal about one medium lemon. Okay, three tablespoons. Keep my tablespoon measure, which went where? I put it away. Look at that. All right. So we are going to actually measure the sugar first, I think. No, we need a third of a cup of sugar. I don't need a third cup of sugar. Here it is. Yes, let's just put the sugar in. Third of a cup of sugar, which is a lot of sugar. I understand this is a very, very sweet dressing, but it makes the strawberry spinach salad pretty darn yummy. Okay, three tablespoons of lemon juice. And like I said before, if anyone wants any of these recipes, please let me know and I will post them on Discord. Yes, I found it. Woohoo! So far, I've only managed to feel scatterbrained <laughs> and probably look a little scatterbrained, but I'm actually finding stuff. So that's good. All right, two tablespoons of vinegar, and we are using rice vinegar instead of white wine vinegar, which is, uh, this is not, oh, it is seasoned. Shoot. Sorry, I thought this was plain rice vinegar. Seasoned rice vinegar has more sugar in it. Um, oh and salt. Done. So let me find one that's not sweetened. Oh, my pizza's done. Yes, the pizza is done. That was also seasoned. Darn, I thought that was just regular rice vinegar. Okay. It doesn't matter what kind of vinegar we use, right? We right. use some. We we'll use some apple cider vinegar. This is going to be extra sweet. Okay. There we go. I do like cider vinegar with sweet dressings because it's got that apple-y, fruity kind of um, undertone to it that works really well. Okay, a tablespoon of vegetable oil. And I have here some extra light um, olive oil. Will work just fine. And a teaspoon of poppy seeds. Find a place to set that. Poppy seeds. My poppy seeds. Um, I have chia seeds. Poppy seeds. Should have some somewhere. Or sesame seeds, or chia seeds. I have a lot of chia seeds. We might have to use chia. Black seeds. All right, chia it is. That's not chia. There's, there's the chia. Okay, just a little bit, just a teaspoon. Okay. 
All right, and Stream Elements popped up a reminder to check out my merch store. I do have a couple coffee mug designs. Uh, I think I have a hoodie design with my logo on it. Here we go. So now we're going to just mix this all up. It's not a whole lot of dressing, right? But um, it'll be enough for the salad. Probably be more than I need even. The recipe calls for a, pack, a six ounce package of spinach, baby spinach. And I just picked a bunch of spinach out of my garden. Okay, we are gonna let the sugar dissolve for a little bit while we slice up some strawberries. It also calls for sliced almonds, which I don't have. I know I don't have any almonds. I haven't been able to find sliced almonds in a really long time. Okay, so I'm going to need about one and a half cups of strawberries. Ooh, that's a big berry. Don't you just love it when you get these big, beautiful berries? Look at that. That is a big strawberry. Is that gonna be a cup and a half? Maybe one more. Okay. So I will hold these strawberries. And I'm just gonna slice them into quarters and we'll throw them on the salad. Toss it with the dressing and that will be all done. So we have made pizzas. We have made, we're nearly done making strawberry spinach salad. And we made homemade marshmallows today. That whole top off because it had a funky spot. I hope you guys have enjoyed the stream. We are just nearly done winding down. And then we are going to, after we're done streaming, we're going to um, sit out on the deck some pizza, roast some marshmallows, enjoy our salad, and just relax. Be glad that the day has come to an end. We can spend some family time together, get some things done tomorrow, and enjoy some good church family time on Sunday. Right, nearly there. We will find somebody to raid before we get out of here. I think some of these big strawberries I'm gonna cut into more than just quarters. This is going to be so good. I love strawberry season. Strawberry kombucha. Strawberry shortcake. We made strawberry shortcake the other day. It was so good. Oops. Dropping strawberries. Strawberry marshmallows. What else can we do with strawberries? Make strawberry sundaes. 
but right now we're all about the marshmallows because it is s'more season. Okay, so does anybody here enjoy gardening or just all the fresh produce in the springtime? What is your favorite piece of produce that you just really love when spring rolls around and all of a sudden you can get, get your favorite fresh fruit or vegetable? Okay, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? All those strawberries. I do love the strawberries. Okay, I think our dressing is, well, we still have some sugar down at the bottom that hasn't quite dissolved, but I did make this extra sweet. So, I guess that's to be expected. We'll try and whip it up a little bit more. Okay, and we'll drizzle this over the salad and we'll give it a toss. And are you ever doing something and you feel like you dreamed it like a month ago or something? Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I think I dreamed about making this salad a while ago. Okay, we'll get some tones and toss this beautiful salad. Make sure everything is nicely coated with that dressing. Oh, this is going to be so good. I am really going to enjoy dinner tonight, you guys. <laughs> it will be a wonderful end to an interesting day. Okay, looks so good. See, that strawberry spinach salad. And we got some pizza that's cooled down enough we can cut it now. And we got fresh marshmallows to roast over the fire later for dessert. Sounds really good. And it is now five minutes after five o'clock. Time for me to move on and um here we are stuck on the wrong view there we go okay sorry about that um here's my salad it is beautiful here is my pizza also beautiful it's going to be an excellent dinner i am looking forward to it um so let's find someone to raid who should we raid rusty's on mrs ruby is on jeanette is on okay so let's see you guys want to raid rusty rhymes rusty rhymes is a, a wonderful streamer in our food and drink community he is such a good friend and he is always um, has always been willing to answer questions for me, which I really, really appreciate. Um, so let's go, fall, or we'll raid Rusty and uh, see what he's up to tonight. Thank you all for watching the stream, for hanging in here with me, even though I was having like crazy technical difficulties at the beginning. Um, yeah, thank you for hanging in there and for being a part of uh, Bravewood Beanery for the evening. I appreciate you all. I love you, and I'll see you next week. Let's go say hi to Rusty. Hey. Let's go.